Uh, before we get started, I just want to address that this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, with over 2 million downloads, rivaling all other mobile MMORPGs on the market today, Raid Shadow Legends offers stunning graphics and realistic gameplay. You'll have exactly 28 minutes of fun before you realize you're playing a mobile game. Use my code PUZZLES to receive what I assume to be nothing, because they have not actually gotten back to me on the sponsorship deal. On that note, enjoy the show. This is Daniel Cook, a Canadian celebrity that debuted on the Treehouse channel during the early 2000s. But after 131 successful episodes, the show was cancelled, which begs the question, what happened to Daniel Cook? Well, today we're going to peep this out. I can't remember. Uh, when this whole Daniel Cook manhunt thing decided to like start. I think it was like harmless enough in the beginning. It was like I was in my bed uh, remembering all like the cringe stuff I was doing as a grade 3 year old. I remember, yeah, at that point it was like, hey, remember the Treehouse channel was a thing? The Daniel Cook channel was my favorite show on that, on that, uh, on, on the channel, Treehouse. It was like that, the Mighty Machines, uh, but I always remember it's like Chuggington was my it was it, that I hated that so much, like the freaking fat trains. But uh, the star Daniel Cook, what happened to him? Right? It's like you, you always want to know what, what kind of happens to these guys. So I searched him up on IMDb, and I found out that he went on the Oprah channel, right? And not much after that. But I mean, still, you have your own show. Oprah channel is peak. Okay, you peaked at the Oprah channel. That's the channel show, show. Does Oprah have a channel? He was on Oprah, right? He talked with Oprah, and he got a couple articles written about him. That's enough to get your like yourself verified on Twitter. Like that's ridiculous. And after that, he just kind of disappeared. I, you know, that made me sad inside because, like, yeah, it is sad to see like someone being forgotten, someone that was so iconic for me. Um, I just want to see if uh, anyone else like even watched the show or like uh, or so remembered him, right? Um, so that's exactly what I decided to do. I did some field work. For the fieldwork portion uh, for the video, I wanted to go out and see how many people actually remembered uh, Daniel Cook. Uh, I think we asked maybe five people, uh, but don't worry, we'll go over uh, everyone one at a time. Starting with Daniel. Daniel, I found on the streets, and he was very easy to work with. When I asked him uh, if he knew who this person was, and I handed him a picture of Daniel Cook, he politely replied with, uh, No, I don't think I've ever seen this person before. Ah! He doesn't know. He doesn't know. I decided to give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he didn't recognize the picture. Uh, so I asked him, uh, you know, like, who, who is Daniel Cook? And then he still was like, I have no idea. Like, okay. Like, I, I just... I really wanted to make sure he didn't know who this man was, right? So I asked him like one more question. Um, are you familiar with the show This Is Daniel Cook featuring host Daniel Cook? No, I don't think I've ever seen it. So I mean like at this point, he obviously doesn't know who Daniel Cook is. Um, and I just didn't want to bother him anymore. <laughs> so uh, we just kind of left. And then next we found a skater punk. And the way that this encounter happened was like I was talking to the camera. And then my cameraman was just like, was, like What's, what's going on? I, I look over, uh, and there's this freaking skater guy. So I chase him down. But it was really weird because like he put his skateboard down like like right by my foot. But he did agree to do the interview, so that, that was good. His name is Justin. And then you know you gotta ask like the obvious question. Do you, do you know who Daniel Cook is? I have heard. Oh, he's the uh, television guy, right? Which... The guy who did uh, uh, Around the World or whatever. Like... Ooh, not Around the World, but you know, it was close enough. I really liked the enthusiasm this guy had, so I was like, no, he had his uh, own show. Um, he was the host of his own show, Daniel Cook, of the Daniel Cook Show. And his reaction was like... Oh, was that what he was on? Yeah. Apart from then, it was kind of downhill, because it started getting a little creepy. Uh, uh, Daniel Cook's last appearance was in um, Big Babies back in 2010. What do you think he's been up to since then? I don't know, drugs, like Hollywood can change a person, you know? And, and yes, that is a realistic answer. And you know, I just loved what he said next. Well, uh, didn't they like 
copy his show and like redo a bunch of times with, with like different ethnicities. I remember the, the friggin' Daniel Cook spinoff with like the Asian baby. You know, at this point, since we finished the interview, I just asked him, you know, if he, his interest in Daniel Cook has, has been raised. Right, because like I want to know, like, if is he is he interested in this guy? I am actually, like, damn, I am really interested in this little boy. I want to know more about this little boy. I'm he seemed like super passionate about the subject. Kind of like someone else I know. Like sitting outside of Julianne Haynes' window? Yeah, so after that, we kind of just like stopped the interview uh, as soon as we could. And then uh, we left. On our drive to a new uh, area, we did find a person on their driveway that we decided to interview. Turns out the resident was very, very kind. They said yes almost immediately to the interview. Their name is Lydia. So I showed Lydia a picture of Daniel Cook and I asked her if she knew who that person was and she said no. So based on how the Daniel interview went, we just kind of like decided to cut the interview right off the bat. Uh, there was no point in it. It was, it was very, it was very awkward. So you know, like when you're trying to find other people to interview on the street, you just kind of like walk by like certain suburban areas. We got lucky with one individual, uh, his name's Jonathan. He was just sitting on his porch when we met him. Uh, I kind of approached him very cautiously, uh, just to as to not scare him. I asked Jonathan if he wanted to participate in this interview, he also said yes. Yeah, and that's, that's how we got Jonathan. But going into this interview, I can only hope that he knew who who Daniel Cook is. I started the interview off uh, asking Jonathan, do you know who Daniel Cook is? And he replied, Um, he's a guy who was on a TV show a long time ago. Yes! Yes! That's, that's what we needed. You know, like now that I finally have somebody who, who, who knows who Daniel Cook is, I asked this question. Now that you have more context, uh, what do you think about Daniel Cook? I still think he's just a random kid. Just, just some random kid? Jonathan, you're killing me. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe I wasn't getting the answer I wanted out of out of Jonathan. So we, we tried one more person. So the last person we decided to interview, uh, his name's Kevin. We kind of just met him on the street. He was just walking, I think, home. I just wanted to ask him a couple questions. He was like really trying to avoid me at first, but then I had to like stop him and ask him if he wanted to do the interview. He said no at first, but I just kept like, I kept following him. I was just like, it's like, it's only just a couple of questions, please, please. And then he's like, okay, okay, fine. Kevin's interview made me kind of sad just because, you know, like he only gave me one word answers. Like how you would talk to your mom after she picks you up from school. It's like, hey, how's school? Good. Do you have any homework? Yes. Also, the audio from the interview is like way too much wind. So it's like it's unusable. So that's quite unfortunate. He also didn't really seem that into it. All the answers he said, he didn't recognize Daniel Cook. Yeah, so there's not much to work with. So, yep, that was the, that was the field work. But if you thought that I was going to interview everyone without asking what their favorite color was, ooh man, we got it. I like green. Ah, uh, yellow. 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 Brown. So now that we know that the situation is pretty bad, nobody pretty much remembers who Daniel Cook is. But that's why I need to make this video. That's why we need to raise awareness of of, of what happened to Daniel Cook, but I needed to know more. I needed to know more. That's why I decided to do a little bit more research. So for my research, I decided to start off very simple. I decided to just Google Daniel Cook and see what came up. His Wikipedia page I already been on, so I just kind of skipped that for now. And then I went straight to his IMDB page hoping that there was maybe a clue for something else. Uh, not really. Uh, again, the only thing that we know now is that his last appearance in any film or TV show was in Big Babies. Um, that wasn't really helpful, right? And so like the next step of the plan was like finding a social media account, right? Like an Instagram or a Facebook or a Twitter. So we decided to go to, you know, just Facebook just because you know, he was born around that time, around when Facebook would be used a lot. Uh, unfortunately, there was a lot of other people named Daniel Cook and a lot of fan pages. So it was just kind of a big mess there. Um, so we weren't able to actually like pinpoint him down from Facebook. Twitter, 
the only person by the name of Daniel Cook on Twitter that I could I can really like find was uh, a game developer, and I doubt he went into game developing. Um, and then I tried finding his interview with Oprah. Uh, because I knew that there was a couple of hints there, so as I was trying to search up for that interview, um, I came across an article about, uh, you know, like the, the older version of Daniel Cook and Emily Young. Uh, it says that Daniel Cook is taking up fencing, which is interesting, but not exactly what we need in terms of information, right? So I just kind of skipped up that article. And then I finally found the interview with Oprah, and oh man, it, it, it's so good. It's so good. In 2007, we met pint-sized talk show host Daniel Cook. At just nine years old, this little Canadian had his very own show on the Disney Channel. So we asked him to help us out, and we sent him on special assignment to hobnot with the stars at Fashion Week in New York City. Here we are! Here we are! Here we are! What does it feel like uh, to be here today? I'm very excited to be here today. Is there anything else that has excited you? Well, you're pretty exciting. You're a little young for me, but you're very exciting, especially in that tie. What do you do on Valentine's Day? Dress is very pretty. Who made it? Thank you. Actually, it's swear off. A crystal made my dress. Mm -hmm. Guess how many crystals are on this dress? How many? Over 79,000 crystals. Wow. Guess, guess how much it weighs? How much? Over seven pounds. Well, you know what? That weighs more than my rock, than my whole rock collection. It does. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I heard you got a job offer when you were on the red carpet. Is that true? Yeah, Mary Hart asked me to uh, be her co-host. Really? I... You still go to school every day? Yeah. You go to school every day? Well, not this day. Not this day. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think you want to be when you grow up? Well, I really, really like dinosaurs. Mm hmm So. I really want to be a paleontologist. Well, why not, I say. <laughs> Follow your passion. Thank you very much. Today, Daniel's all grown up at 5 foot 11. The 17-year-old is college-bound this fall. He's still into dinosaurs, but picked up a new hobby, fencing. Daniel's hung up his microphone to pursue his new dream, becoming Prime Minister of Canada one day. So other than like Kim Cattrall and the other chick being like really creepy with friggin' Daniel Cook, like it was it was pretty informative. We now know that he wants to be a prime minister, right? And that's just that's something I wanted and I didn't even realize it. Daniel, if you're out there, please, 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 I really want to do an interview with you, right? That's my dream. Your dreams to be a prime minister, my dreams to have an interview with Daniel Cook. Um and thank you everyone else for watching. It's been a really fun time making the video. Uh, I'm in lockdown again, so that's that's fun. Oh, and also special thanks to Lydia, Justin, Daniel, uh, Kevin, and Jonathan uh, for helping out. It wouldn't have been possible without you, and it was really fun. Sorry guys, sorry. Uh, this is after I was done editing the video, but then like I kind of remembered. Um, I think it was like almost a year ago. I saw something Daniel Cook related and then I and I bookmarked it, right? Uh, and then I checked my bookmarks and then it turned out it was actually a Twitter post about Daniel Cook, right? So like I can't believe I didn't put it in the video. It's like I already put all this work in doing everything so I can't like add it in so I'm just putting it at the end. But that that image of Daniel Cook on the on the news, right? It said that he goes to U of T, which is the University of Toronto, and I live really close to the University of Toronto. And so I decided to to search up Daniel Cook U of T. Turns out he's the director of outreach there, and unfortunately he's not tagged on the Facebook post, but that kind of confirms like where he is. If you go to U of T, or if you have any idea where this man is, guys, please reach out to me. I really want an interview with this guy. It's it's friggin' ridiculous, alright? He might be the Prime Minister one day. This is this is hella important to me. And thank you for listening to my TED Talk.